So one of the important things with with this change is going from the 70 to 100 percent. You have the the uh, complete social and occupational kind of aspects for that 100 percent rating, and this would eliminate those, which is really important. Uh, back to your point that being able to to go in for that increase is important and, and eliminating that will allow that because now they probably are going to meet the criteria for that 100%. One of the interesting things in the press release, touching back on what you were talking about, is it states here, uh, rather than assigning an evaluation based on the number and type of symptoms present for mental health, these changes would evaluate mental disorders based on how impactful the disability is across five domains of impairment, right? So cognition, interpersonal interactions and relationships, task completion, life activities, and navigating environments, as well as self-care. So that is fantastic. And, and I believe that that is the, absolutely the right approach for mental health. Um, the, the way that the rating schedule is written today is a very outdated way of viewing, I think, mental health. So this would be a huge, huge win. Now, when we talk about mental health, um, what's, what's interesting is, is we talked about tinnitus having a secondary condition for mental health. Now, what happens is, and I've, I've explained this before, and I know you have too, sometimes it's going to be very advantageous for you to file for that uh, secondary condition for mental health, anxiety, depression, whatever, due to tinnitus. Uh, but if you have PTSD and you have other mental health conditions that you're rated for, um, it might not move the needle by saying that you're, you're not sleeping or you have depression or whatever due to your tin uh, tinnitus. So it's just something for, for veterans to be aware of that the mental health rating schedule is it's its own umbrella and it covers everything and gives you one rating. It's not like my back, my knee, my ankle gives me three ratings. It, it's your PTSD, mm -hmm. your insomnia, and your depression all get put together to give you one mental health rating. So it's a little bit different. Are there any secondary conditions that you see from mental health that you could leverage from having some sort of a mental health rating that you would then be able to leverage secondaries from? Absolutely. So it's a two-way street, right? There are conditions of secondary mental health. And the number one that really, really stands out that I see more than any others is a severe back condition causing depression, right? We see that a lot. And that is a moneymaker um, because, hey, my back hurts, my knee hurts, my son wants to play baseball. I can't enjoy his baseball games. I can't enjoy right that social occupational standard. Um, I'm I'm I have difficulties connecting emotionally with my son just because of your back condition. Easy secondary um, for depression. So that that's one avenue. Looking at secondaries from mental health, um, the one that stands out to me the most is GERD and IBS. Right, GERD and IBS. Um, of note, so right now we see sleep apnea is that big bomb, that big 50% secondary to mental health. And generally speaking, sleep apnea secondary is a difficult claim, right? It's a coin flip on if the VA is going to rate that or not. And in this case, this is where a veteran might go get a medical opinion, right? And there are pros and cons to, to, to that. That's definitely debatable. But we're looking at mental health and then the proposed changes to sleep apnea, it might not be worth it, right? right. Why am I going to pay a thousand dollars for a medical opinion to get a 0% rating for sleep apnea? Not worth right. it. Right. Right. And so now I think we're going to see more secondaries geared towards GERD geared towards IBS, maybe some hypertension in there as well with, with, with on the anxiety side of the house. Um, but I, I really think the GERD and IBS are going to kind of, you know, be brought to light uh, when right. we talk about secondaries for mental health. 